Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back. Today we are going to do a train race as it says in the title. Today I am going to bring out my second episode of train races. Now my first one on my YouTube channel I did the whole class the 49XX against the King class, and wow, the King class won by a landslide. <laughs> Technically, the ending was close, but still, the King class had a significant lead. This race that we're going to do in this episode, and in this stream you're going to watch me set up, is going to be the A3 Flying Scotsman against a 5400. Now, the 5400 and other things that aren't XX are the um, pro range in the train simulator uh, steam engines DLC stuff. Same with Nighting Castle down the bottom. And um, ADV, that'll be the advanced to have Doc Tank. Five minutes later. They're both programmed for 150% going around a long stretch of track that is very, I don't know, what's the word I'm looking for? Tight corners. It has very tight corners, and then here are the ends. But these are the engines that are going to be used. So I think, for the sake of this race, we will get started. Who do you think is going to win? If you're on Twitch, I hope if you're on Twitch, please tell me now who you think is going to win, because I think I know who's going to win myself. We are going to find out though. It is Flying Scotsman number 4472 against the Great Western 9999. If you're on YouTube, please tell me in the comments who do you think is going to win before I start this. If you think Fly Flying Scotsman, well honestly so do I, but the Panny Tank could surprise us. It is a pro range one, so it could be very very good. I see it in action though, so probably not. We'll find out though. Yes, and we will start the race. And following a certain YouTuber's rules, we're going to see who stops at the end first. Oh, the Panny Tank's going on ahead. Oh, it's going on very far ahead, very quickly. While Flying Scotsman has a big tender to pull as well. But it is gathering some speed, that's one good thing. That is a fast Panny Tank. Now the Penny Tank is still going on very far ahead. Very fast, my goodness. I assume Flying Scotsman's going to uh, catch up in no time though. Especially at this sort of speed. So let's go to the first corner and let's see how they do. I spy with my little eye a little tank engine beating the Flying Scotsman. Is the Flying Scotsman really catching up that quickly? Really? Is this race not as close as what I thought? Oh, Flying Scotsman has gone ahead. Oh, I saw that from here. Wow, it's fast. Wow. That is fast. That's not to say the Penny Tank isn't trying. It had a good start. That's good. But Flying Scotsman has shot on ahead. Like the true legend it is. Is that faster than Mallard? I'd like to see. Hopefully. But yeah, it's pretty obvious who's going to win this race right now. <laughs> the Paddy Tank is left for dust. Ah, uh, here comes the uh, squiggly part at the end of the uh, first corner. And here comes Flying Scotsman, flying as its name suggests. Off it goes. And there's the Pannier Tank. Off in the distance. Almost looks like 14XX from back here. Almost. There he is on the new straight. Now I think last episode I started naming these sort of things. I don't think I'm going to do that anymore, I'm just going to call them the first straight, second straight, that sort of thing. Alright, how's Paddy Tank going? 
Oh, it's almost at the end of the corner, almost to the squiggly part. Whereas Flying Scotsman is already halfway through this straight. Wow. That's how fast it is. I mean, I was kind of surprised if Hedy Tank had a very fast lead, as it did. But wow, Flying Scotsman's surprising me even more. Let's check while the Flying Scotsman's on the longest straight, how the Petty Tank is going. <laughs> oh, the Petty Tank is on the straight now, but uh, it's very clearly not going to win. It's trying its hardest, but I think it's in vain this time, unfortunately. <laughs> the corner towards the long straight. Here you are. Oh, poor guy. Oh, never mind. Yeah, it's not 9999. What is it now? What number is it? 5418, is it? Yeah, 18. Let's check Flying Scotsman. Is it entered the corner yet? This corner for the second, second longest straight. What am I saying? Second, second longest straight. The second longest straight. This is the second curve that does a U turn. There's also another curve up there that could technically continues onto a straight. But wow, Flying Scotsman. I mean, at the beginning it didn't really surprise me, but wow, 150% really makes diff a difference, doesn't it? I'm gonna guess it's around 100 miles per hour, but honestly, I have no idea. If I had the Superclass 47, that would be awesome, but I don't. Alright, Flying Scotsman is entering this next curve onto a semi-straight. Ooh, so fast. It's on the small semi-straight and there's the uh, 54XX on the other side. Still speeding up, but still not going to catch up at the same time. How sad. This, I believe, is the second longest straight I have. Almost as long as that one, but uh, then there's that short one that goes onto this one. That is my racetrack, basically. Here's Flying Scotsman on the final corner going... Looks like full speed. And here it is. There we go. Again, it's more like a, a mega symbol. Or if you're into Warhammer. An ultramarine symbol. <laughs> wow, that's screeching. Well, Flying Scotsman is actually very close to the end now. Once it finishes this corner, it's going to have another short straight. Longer than that actual short, short straight. And then it's at the end. Now it's on the straight towards the end. Let's see what's happening. Oh, it's still speedy. Yeah, I think he's definitely slowing down, so let's go to the end, and let's see who the clear winner is. I'm pretty sure you know as well as I do who it's going to be. Of course Flying Scotsman is first. We can't see anything else around. And Flying Scotsman is the winner of today. Who would have guessed? Oh no, it's here, it's here. It's on the second longest straight at least. Let's see how long it takes for the 54XX to reach the end. I'm going to time it starting from technically just after Flying Scotsman ended. Stopped, so I've just started the timer, let's see. Five minutes later. Yeah, nothing else can the Flying Scotsman now, but it did its best. It did a good job at the start. But we got to see a flag scope and take over take it <laughs> overtake it. And I do need to get a super class 47. I do, I do, I do. Oh here it is, it's coming in. And... It stopped! 4 minutes 58 seconds. 
That's how long it took from maybe a minute until after Flying Scotsman stopped for the 454XX to stop. Oh, jeez. Yeah, 5418. Oh, Valiant try, buddy, but this week's winner is the Flying Scotsman. Who would have guessed? And because of that, we are going to have a victory lap before we go to Train Sim World 2. Let's go! A victory whistle for a victorious engine. Now, if you're watching this stream, well, you'll have to wait until the best part. The part that I like to do, the part I did last week as well. But if you're on the recording, let's skip to the end. Alright. I knew it was going up a lot, so that's fine. For the leaderboard, Flying Scotsman is the winner! Duh! Alright. Next round, when it's ready, It'll be Flying Scotsman against Big Boy, and for the previous one, it'll be Tornado versus the King class. Because I didn't get to try Tornado this one, and there's a few like Big Boy that I couldn't try, which is why Big Boy went up to this next one anyway. I reckon, if not next week, then in two weeks' time, will be the next race, which will be the 7F against a German steamer. The BR-52, and if you haven't had a look at it, yeah, it's definitely a German one. As much as I can say in the mood. So, with that out of the way, I think we can at least move on to Train Sim World. See you in a second.